Okay, well, as you can see, the garden looks a bit bare at the moment. Um, hopefully later in the year it's going to be full of lush green growth. But we're just getting the structure of the garden sorted at the moment. So we've put in a path this morning. And then over the next few weeks we're going to be planting some soft fruit in there. Yeah, we're sh hoping to show a method of gardening that really makes the most of your garden if you're really into your plants and you like observing and creating and designing very carefully. Um, so it's for it's for the more careful observant gardener. But once it's established it shouldn't take too much work. So it's a sort of little and often garden. Everything needs to be placed quite carefully so the relationships between the plants work. Um, so it's not like with an annual garden, you might go in there and do all your digging one day and then do all your sowing your next. Once the garden's established, it's more little bits now and again and looking at things carefully and harvesting little and often. It's very different from annual vegetable gardening because it relies mainly on perennial plants, so plants that live year after year. Um, so that means that you're not disturbing the natural systems so much. So once you've planted everything, then it's all in for a very long time. So you don't do that regular cycle of hoeing and weeding and watering. The garden should look after itself in many ways. Um, so the soil is left undisturbed and that keeps the nutrients in much better than an annual vegetable garden.